All right, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We continue on the next theory, um, cognitive theories. We discuss the first theories of development in psychoanalytic theory, and the next theory we're going to discuss is cognitive theories. All right, um, there are two persons who are going to talk about cognitive theories. The first one is Piaget, cognitive development theories. So the first one is Jean Piaget, and uh, the second one we're going to discuss is Lev Vygotsky. So let us discuss the first one. According to Jean Piaget, all right, who is Jean Piaget? Jean Piaget is um, the one who come out, came out with this theory in 1936. Theory of cognitive development explain how a child constructs a mental model of the world. If psychoanalytic uh, children construct uh, the worlds through their social right, development and according to this cognitive theory uh, children construct a mental model of the worlds cognitive something related to mind something related to brain something related to thinking so that's why the name we call it cognitive so in 1936, Piaget became the first psychologist, right? The first psychologist who made a systematic study of cognitive development. So they are more arranged and more system. Means they arrange accordingly. All right, let us discuss more. So according to Jean Piaget, there are four stages of cognitive theory. So what are the four stages? So first is sensory motor, which is start zero to two years old. And then second stage, pre-operational stage, uh, two to seven years old. And then seven to 11 years old, we uh, Jean Piaget call that concrete operational. And the last stage is formal operational. So that is uh, age of 11 and older. So basically what been talking, what been thought, or what been discussed in this theory. So let us discuss one by one. So by the age of 0 to 2 years old, so this infant stage, what happened is coordination of senses with motor responses sensory curiosity about the world language use for demands and cataloging object permanent is developed so according to um, Jane Piaget okay uh, coordination there are coordination with the motor coordination means the way they connected they give instruction uh, to their muscle to their body to make such a movement so they move because have they have a, a curiosity curiosity means they want to know what's going what's happening they are sensory curious about the world so their sensory refer to their eyes when they see something they want to know so they move toward that, their hand, uh, their, their, their ears, that is sensory they have, all right? All five senses, the taste, touch. So all these senses are curious to know whatever they see, whatever they taste, whatever they touch, whatever they hear. So by this feeling of curious, curious to know about the world so they will move towards that thing to understand so moving towards that actually um, related to coordination coordination of movement your hands your legs your fingers uh, even either that is a uh, fine motor skills or cross motor skill small movement or big movement 
So what happened is how they able to move that thing, how they able to taste, how they able to um, widen their eyes in order to know uh, what happening is that according to uh, Jin Piaget is due to we call it according to him sensory moto. So they are co coordinating, they are arranging their muscles, their movement with their senses in order to respond to what happened on their surrounding. And second is pre-operational stage. So what is pre-operational stage? Is the next stage after sensory motor. So that's happened. Two years until seven years old. Alright. So what happened this age? Symbolic thinking. Symbolic thinking. Use the proper syntax and grammar to express concepts. Imagination and intuition are strong. But complex abstract thought are still difficult. Conservation is developed. So pre-operational stage basically the process of language development. So language develop in our cognitive, in the cognitive stage. That's related to cognitive. We start to think in order to say something to express their feeling. So their brain need to process the information in order for them to um, think the solution to solve problems to move towards other things they need to uh, they need to think means they need to imagine or they need to um, come up with the solution whether it is abstract solution or complex so that process happen in the brain in the mind the thinking part so that process happen by the age of uh, more advanced age which is preschool two to seven and according to PRJ that is pre operational stage pre means it's not fully operate and then the next stage we have the stage called concrete operational what is concrete operational? Concept attached to concrete situation. Time, space, and quantity are understood and can be applied, but not as independent concept. So, concrete operational stage happened 7 to 11 years. So, basically, this is the age of um, school. I mean uh, elementary school so during elementary school all right or primary school they develop a concept concrete operational they know about timeline space they understand about quantity and they're able to uh, apply it so means the thought, the cognitive are developing better compared to pre-operational stage. And the last stage is formal operational. What is formal operational? So this happened during the children's age 11 years and above. So during formal operational, so what happened? Theoretical hypothetical and counterfactual thinking abstract logic and reasoning strategy and planning become possible concept learned in one context and can be applied to another uh, so basically this is referred to advanced type of cognitive process means they able to do every difficult things in their brain in their mind so to come up with a theoretical 
so you need to analyze a lot of information so means at this age they're able to use or to come up with theoretical hypothetical hypothesis means they're able to make a judgment they're able to make assumption prediction so in order to do this thing and you have to come up with the reason all right you need an advanced process of thinking so this actually happened in formal operational stage 11 years and above 20 30 also that is the age the start when they reach puberty they're able to utilize the thinking process to the maximum level and then counterfactual thinking they're able to use abstract thinking reasoning reasoning justifying things give a reason give her evidence and they're able to strategize planning become possible so basically when we talk about this formal formal operational stage is referred to advanced level of thinking so basically this is four different stages according to Jean Piaget when talk about cognitive theory so we finish about the first person to talk about cognitive theory let us discuss the second person who talked about this the same theory so Vygotsky cognitive theory who's Vygotsky? Vygotsky is a Russian psychologist he's a psychologist from Rush, Russia so he developed a theory of cognitive development known as the socio-cultural theory so they, have, they develop cognitive theory, but they call that theory as a socio-cultural, right? So it developed in early 20th century. So it means uh, a bit recent compared to psychoanalytic theory. He developed this th his theory at around the same time at, as Jean Piaget was starting to develop his ideas. So Jean Piaget around 1920s and 1930s, but he died at the age of 38, very young. And to his theories are incomplete. So Jean Piaget's theory is not completed. So after that, Vygotsky um, widened or further the theory. Vygotsky's social, cultural, cognitive theory emphasized on culture and social interaction a guide of cognitive development. So according to Vygotsky, all right, cognitive a theory, I means cognitive happen is due to social interaction as well as uh, culture. So Vygotsky social culture theory of cognitive development, they put in a um, illustration I can do by myself I can do with some help means they need interaction from peoples I can't do this even with help so this interrelated between cognitive as well as the surrounding the social part okay basically that is a, a discussion or idea about uh, cognitive theories. So, what's the difference between um, Vygotsky and Simon Freud? So, according to Simon Freud, cognitive theories all based on the cognitive means based on cognitive. It happened according to their ability of their cognitive development. The more they're able to do things, thinking part in advanced level is due to their age. This was small age, zero to two. They have a different uh, cognitive process happen. Two to seven more towards language expression of uh, thinking. Uh, they call it pre-operational and then they become concrete operational by the age of 7 to 11 and fully advanced they call it formal operation 
is when they reach age 11 years and above they able to do every everything in uh, advanced level so that is according to PJ but Bagetsky saying that um, culture and social interaction guide for cognitive development means there are another factors who uh, develop the cognitive uh, development which is social interaction as well as culture so culture play a role social interaction play a role in order to develop better cognitive development So, it's not only due to the capability of the brain by nature, but it's also uh, have involvement of the uh, culture as well as social. So, that we call it external factors. So, uh, Vygotsky focus on both uh, external factors, which is social and culture as well as their internal factors, which is their cognitive, whereby, uh, according to PRJ, it's only due to internal factors, which is their cognitive development. Okay? So, that's all about um, cognitive theories by two person, Jean PRJ and Liv Vygotsky. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.